let's look into the content okay under the uh, this uh, the beam aspect oh so the content this pertains to the uh, data set inside each of the information model that means in the beam model okay as determined by the specific requirements of the intended model use or in terms of uh, the completeness of the model object the modeling technique and the core information uh. meaning that uh, you know as uh, the model progresses okay along the different phases of the project uh, more and more information gets uh, put into the model so you are talking about for example the uh, LOD whether it's LOD 100 or 200 so and so forth okay yeah and you're going to make sure that uh, the uh, right amount of information is put into the model uh, because uh, if uh, there is uh, too little model obviously the work cannot be done properly if there's too much uh, information then uh, the work can still be done but then it could be uh, how to say uh, not using the resources effectively okay so the key principles will include all these bullet points uh, different objects and different areas within the same model may require different levels of details uh, do not model more than required uh, granularity to meet your objective. That means don't put in more information than what is uh, needed because uh, you are then not using the resources effectively. Uh, ensure that the required core information is complete and correct. Okay, Modeling techniques for object may differ depending on your intended uh, beam usage. Okay, Embedded information that uh, you need to uh, extract uh, later on. Right? Yeah. So the uh, content components Okay, the beam content pertain to the uh, completeness of the model objects, okay, modeling techniques, core information that is uh, fit for its intended use. Okay, yeah. In terms of uh, the uh, completeness of the uh, model object, okay, the model must be complete with all objects that are required and for its intended use. Yeah. Modeling techniques okay, refers to the way which the object is created. Yeah. Core information refers to both geometric, which I say dimensional, okay non-geometric that means uh, maybe uh, the type of material okay or core information must be correct okay and complete to be suitable for model use uh, also again you can see uh, geometric versus non-geometric okay again coming back to the uh, level of detail in the model objects yeah objects they are below a certain size say below 50 50 mm may still need to be modeled okay if it requires coordination fabrication or this uh you know, a uh, spatial reservation, for example, a conduit. All right. Other objects that are typically part of an exclusion list, okay, may also be required in isolated cases or areas. Yeah. In terms of the modeling techniques, okay, modeling for quantity taking off or scheduling may require a specific technique to obtain the correct unit of measurement or more reliable quantities. Okay. Objects may be modeled so as to serve a specific purpose use or specific model use. Okay, for example, building maintenance clearance box into uh, equipment to uh, aid the clearance check. Yeah, or do not over model. Okay, only uh, if only the overall size is required for coordination. Again, because uh, of uh, resource, you don't want to uh, use the resource unnecessarily. Yeah. So in terms of uh, core information. Okay, the information could be indicative in the early phase because there's not enough information. But as the model proceeds along the different phase of the cons construction, yeah, uh, the model becomes more updated and more accurate. Okay, or uh, so the information must be replaced by actual data. Okay, when there are more concrete information coming in, so core information must be provided by the right stakeholder at the right time. Uh, okay. Very often, the team will make use of the design object libraries, or we call it the DOL, to help them when they are uh, working with the models. Uh, so the design object libraries are repositories of model objects that have already been developed ready for use, with certain core information already predefined. So that will save the modeler from uh, beginning from scratch for everything in the model. Right. So design object libraries may be created as part of the company's beam resources and is also available industry-wide okay, with uh, contributions from uh, manufacturers, designers and all that. Right. De developing and making use of uh, these uh, libraries contributes towards modeling efficiency and reliability of uh, core information. 
from time to time, uh, the team uh, stakeholders may also need to uh, deal with uh, integrating both uh, 3D into uh, 2D or vice versa. So in cases where details are needed for information, but not critical for geometric coordination, the model can be uh, you know, replaced or supplemented by uh, 2D standard details. Okay. Also, in all cases, 2D drawings must be uh, consistent with the final approved or coordinated model. And uh, 2D drawings extracted from uh, 3D models must be done so with no error or no loss of data from the translation. Quality of the information in the model is uh, very important. Also, that's why the uh, beam quality checks are necessary in order to ensure that the model are fit for use, fit for sharing, are workable and consistent across all models regardless of uh, being altered by the different stakeholders. Lah. Yeah. Implementing stringent quality control measures also contribute towards streamlining processes as it helps to minimize unnecessary work and double handling of the information. So these are some of the key principles. Each model author okay, is to perform quality checks in their own model prior to sharing the model. Okay. Model quality includes content of the information and is fit for use. Models that are handed over to uh, downstream users must ensure that the quality is fit for the intended downstream use. The following diagrams okay, describe the different scenario which is uh, typical uh, or common in which the model quality checks are performed as well as the type of checks which uh, include okay, but is not limited to okay, the uh, standards, the file, workability, control element, intradiscipline requirement, content, interdiscipline coordination. So for example, okay, if you are looking at the uh, different uh, parties, different stakeholders, they are sharing their model and coordinating. Okay, or, so check individual model quality prior to sharing for intradiscipline coordination. So every model, okay, or that the trade is uh, using on their own, they will check okay, or the uh, discipline requirement, okay, the standard file workability control element. And they will also check okay, for interdiscipline coordination issues right, before they share okay, the, uh, their own versions of the model for coordination. Model used for various uh, activities, okay, we normally check the suitability of the model for the intended activities, for example, whether is it quantity taking off, for planning or for the analysis, yeah. Uh, if it's a uh, handing over and submission, okay, we will also check the suitability of the model for downstream handover, lah. Okay, normally we also look into all this, okay, intra uh, disciplinary uh, requirements, okay, whether the standards are they uh, correct, complying with uh, the requirements, whether the files workability is it going to be an issue, the control elements, the content, the interdiscipline coordination. So these are the uh, six areas okay, under which the, the uh, Singapore VDC framework uh, look at in terms of the beam quality. Oh. So for standards, okay, we check the model conformance with uh, pre-established project standards and guidelines. Uh, okay. oh, for example, you look at the file naming, object naming, the, this uh, view naming convention, okay. the uh, templates, the language, okay browser uh, organization, the uh, system colors, okay. Oh, we also look into the uh, content, yeah. Oh, we check the uh, suitability of the uh, model information for its intended use. I uh, look into the uh, completeness of the uh, model object, okay. Correct modeling technique, uh, complete and uh, correct core information, drawing schedules and views from the beam model, right. We also look into the control elements, yeah, we check the uh, alignment, adherence, and uh, control elements across all the model. Lah. All right. Oh, check the origin point, lah, the orientation, the grids, the level, so on and so forth. We also look at the uh, file workability, where we check the suitability of the model for model sharing. Yeah. Also, we look at the uh, model in uh, a grid <coughs> uh, format or version. Okay. Whether is it uh, detached from the uh, central file? Okay whether the model has been uh, purged, whether the uh, unnecessary links they have been uh, removed, okay, any uh, astronomical uh, sheets, the views, legends and schedules removed, that means those are not necessary, it's already uh, taken out, okay, 
and whether the file size has it been optimized. All right. Uh, intradisciplinary, uh, this uh, general model quality, these are some of the things we look at. Okay. Or modeling using the correct objects, no significant overlapping of the objects, no duplication of the objects, no floating or misplaced objects, okay, and the objects are defined suitably. Okay, yeah. Interdisciplinary checks, okay, we look for geometric hard crashes, okay, uh, soft or installation or maintenance clearance issues, okay, we look at the alignment and the consistency between the different traits.